Breeze just a little slower than Villy at this moment in time, but I'm sure when the game gets going, we'll see that Breeze is much quicker. Villy's world ranking is uh, 36, which gets him the top seed in this tournament, and Breeze Levitis is uh, 49. But I believe that they're very evenly contested in this match. Yeah, and Villy's uh, he's a wonderful... A wonderful talent, Billy, uh, but uh, he just has that little bit of you don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes you can get a, a genius or uh, sometimes just the fool, but whatever his entertainment to watch, and I for one love watching him on the badminton court. The two players have quite contrasting styles in that uh, Billy is very much a rallier uses the whole of the court, very skillful in his play, and Brees um, a little bit more attacking, likes to uh, uh, stop the shuttle at the net and uh, really uh, has, a, has a much more powerful game. But um, it should uh, actually uh, help the match because they uh, contrast. Valley looks... Uh sometimes as if he can't be bothered at all but it's just the demeanour he has uh, he's very much bothered about anything uh, and will stay out there for an hour and a half if he has to, to try and secure the win Having said that Dan, I think that um, this is the first time this week we've seen him wear strapping uh, quite heavily on his um, right leg, right calf Yeah, I think yesterday he was, he'd strapped in both legs Ray actually uh, but I see that his other leg it's gone uh, but he had it on the upper part of one of his legs and the lower part so perhaps he's just got the lower part it was hidden by his shorts but uh, he did have it there uh, yesterday there may still be some strapping on his other leg underneath the shorts but at the moment we can't see it Billy's uh, previous opponent actually uh, pulled out against him uh, uh, when he was down 13-4. And I asked Billy uh, uh, what was the problem, and he said he dived and um, the Malaysian hurt his knee. And uh, I'd actually heard a few players uh, talking previously, ones that uh, really know um, the level of the game at the moment, and they fancied the Malaysian to actually win the tournament it just goes to show how uh, even some of the uh, contests are and that these players are levels uh, even if one's uh, 49 in the world and the other one's 36 there's no givens here yeah I'm sure it'll be a, a very very difficult contest I think we can look forward to Brees trying to be quick about the court and Willie's both players very skillful but I, I love Willie's Ladies touch on the shuttle he's just got a Magnificent right, touch Levides, and control of the shuttle. And on my left, Villelong, Finland. Who do you fancy for this one? Villelong to serve. Well, Lovell you put me on the spot, play. man, but I'm going to take Brees. Service over. One, love. But we've both seen Villy play so often and uh, leads against him don't mean as much as against other players because uh, he likes to soften up his opponents. He likes to um, really rally them and uh, really move them around the court. Um, you'll see a lot, lot of the sort of play that's happening now. The rear, the front, he really moves his opponent. Very, very patient. And all this is trying to soften up Brees so that he can uh, put in uh, the more biting game uh, later on in the match. To love. I hope he's, uh, he's not injured. Uh, I think the strap is heavier on his leg today, on that one leg, the right leg. And I just didn't like the way that he didn't really make an effort to try and retrieve the last shot at the rally. But do you not think that's so Three typical of Villy? And then all of a sudden, uh, he he ca he catch yeah. fire later on, and uh, he sort of uh, ebbs and flows in the match. Whereas Brees is a lot more um, 
consistent and uh, on you. They're both so experienced. Often, uh, Vili um, plays with uh, sort of more inexperienced players because he uh, uh, gets a rhythm of a, a match so well and does what he's doing now, what, which I would call dead balling uh, the player. But um, Reese, uh, Reese will just be uh, uh, too experienced for this sort of thing and uh, put the Service pressure on Vili. See, that's a very patient rally, and, and you look at it and you think, you know, the pace isn't there, but the quality of the shots, the depth of the shots, and how far they have to come in. Look at that. Brees was going to leave it, then he's hit it. And uh, it just, as, as Ray says, Valais trying to take the sting out of Brees. Service over. Four, one. It's Very much at the, at the moment, it's the it's the way the game's going to be. Uh, Brees will try and attack whenever he can. Villy's more content just to clear, drop, do what he's got to do. And I couldn't be held to it, but I I, I think that uh, with Villy's style of play, he plays a long game. So. Um, uh, he could actually be looking in the second part of the uh, second set when he starts to really put Five, the pressure on. And one. all the rest of the time, uh, looking to uh, soften Brees up and uh, then make his move um, when he decides. Well, I'm going to hold you to that. But as I qualified it before, I think Brees is too experienced to get... Um, sucked into that type of uh, um, tactic, Two, I think that he'll play the game how he wants to play the game. And that was an example there of the quality of feel that Villy has. Nice smash from Brees, lovely block, and he just clipped the net cord. Beautiful control from Villy. Commentator's nightmare once again. Six, two. But Brees is playing a smart game at the moment, just picking up the uh, the points. The uh, uh, few errors from Vili being all the difference. He's really looking quite laid back, whereas Brees is really trying to put pressure on every rally. Seven, two. It's just indicative of them. Brees would be warming up, he'd be pumping, everything would be going. It'd be a fast, dynamic warm-up. And Vili was in the coaching hall and on the court next to us uh, with two young kids hitting up with them before an important semi-final and that's just the way he is but uh, Brees will be ready 100 miles an hour here Service over. that was Three, out seven. very good call one interesting fact is that they've both been um, number ones in their country for a long while um, with Vili, it would be Four, uh, over 10 years now. And uh, Brees, uh, I can remember him uh, being there now at least six years. Yeah, that was very, very good. But Brees was made to cover a lot of court there and covering it very quickly, trying to dominate at the front of the court, which he eventually got the error coming in very quickly. You see it in the slow motion. And he got the error out of Willie. And Willie not happy at missing it because it went past him about waist height. But just as you just said there, Dan, um, it was uh, Brees that done the majority of the work and um, Villy's content to uh, 
let the rallies sap the energy of the um, slightly younger player and uh, let his experience show. Yeah, you see that that's where Villy's getting to him there, that fancy shot. That was two in that rally from Brees. Uh, I think he's got to maintain his concentration Five, and play eight. his game, which is very quick and early whenever he can. You'll see it here. He comes as if to play right. in the backhand and tries an underarm forehand cross court. See, there he Six, let, his, let his concentration go. Now he's just made a, a bad error there. That was a chance. He's got to stay focused. And that's the thing when you're playing Villy. When you're playing against Villy, you've got to keep your concentration because if you look at him, his demeanour is it doesn't matter at all. But he is busting inside to do everything he can. But he gives a demeanour of it doesn't really matter all that much. You see him just punching Seven, the air there. Eight. I think you, Villy will have gained a little heart there from watching Brees try those fancy shots because it means the, the player's focus is not where it should be. What do you think, Ray? I, I agree. I, I think that um, Brees was playing exactly the right game uh, when he was uh, leading and now he's uh, just let his um, concentration go a little bit. trying, uh, But he's getting back to it. You can see that he's uh, uh, getting back to it and that's what I would expect. He's got to work... Really, e even uh, uh, if he doesn't feel he's getting too much out of these rallies, this is where it's a really crucial rally. They're looking for the dominance in the game. Service over. And whoever won that rally, and it's ob obviously Brees, Nine, um, they gain a bit of confidence there, and uh, it's now who he who feels dominant. It's only 9 7, but this is a real fighting part of the game. See, I believe they can both handle these Ten, sort of rallies seven. and uh, uh, we'll see a lot more of this sort of rally and Villiers playing the long game in the hope that he's going to soften Brees up and Brees goes into those sort of uh, lapses um, and what Brees has got to do is exactly what he's doing now, putting pressure on all the time and not worrying what Villiers doing, just trying to uh, make sure he does as much work. 11-7, interval. You know, I, I think that's important for Brees to be leading at the interval, but Villy will not be phased at all. I think if Villy had been leading, I would have been saying Villy was going to win the game, uh, but I still couldn't tell you who's going to win the game because I think it just depends which Villy line we get. And if he, he really goes for it, he's a wonderful player to watch. But Brees is doing everything right at the moment except for a couple of lapses in concentration. At some stage during the game, I think you'll see uh, Villy just shut up shop. In, in by that, I mean that uh, he'll stop making errors. Um, he'll really focus and concentrate and uh, try and put pressure on every rally and really bite into Brees' physical to soften him up. There's seen glimpses of it at the moment, but um, it's had no effect on Brees because Brees is a really fine athlete. Seven. Philly's been coming to the Scottish Open for many years now and uh, he's really built up a uh, following amongst the youngsters uh, who see him as um, uh, really cool. Well, seven. 
And I think that's exactly what Brees needs to do. He needs to work every single point to make it too far for Villy to come back because Villy is definitely um, not taking the shot as early as Brees at the moment. And to me, that's a big difference. And you know, I think I think if Brees continues just with, with being fast and keeping his concentration and taking it early as he can at the front of the court, then eventually the control or the speed of his movement around the court is going to force Villy to have to change his tactics and he's going to have to start to try and become more attacking at some point. Because as you said, well, Ray, sorry. I think Brees is a very, very good athlete and he'll be able to cope with long rallies. Well, he's not, he's not been happy all week with the shuttles for some reason. But again, not happy here. But to mention the standard of these players, Brees played uh, Pablo Avian, the Spanish number one in the first round. And uh, it's 21-19 in the third. Pablo Avian is capable of winning um, tournaments all across Europe. And uh, they had to play first round. It could have been final of this tournament. That's a fantastic shot from the backhand there. Digging it out behind him and clearing cross court Villy. Just wonderful. The movement of both players just effortless. One thing I'd like uh, <coughs> the spectators to notice is when they're Nine, attacking, they don't try and block it softly to the net. They actually put it forcefully back, back which I call a deep defence. And it's really effective in singles because that can often give you the net. In that uh, rally there, Brees played a superb shot to the middle of the net that um, really narrowed the angles down. You're seeing it there again. Fault. Service over. 49. I can't believe that's a fault. I don't <coughs> know. Either Villy's not awake or the umpire was... Uh, a bit quick to call, but I can't believe he faulted there. The Villiers' demeanour um, in in Ten this game at the moment is nothing unusual. Ten, he, uh, this is how he uh, carries on, and then all of a sudden he catch fire, and uh, he's got a tremendous smash on him as he's just demonstrated. When you say catch fire, Ray, do you mean internally combust or just get more aggressive? Get more aggressive and um, trying to really uh, uh, take the pace up of the rallies and being more proactive. To me, it's Brees who's the proactive player here. Yeah, very much so at this moment. But that's what I think Brees has got to do. Just continue. And every time he, he, he tries to play a fancy shot or a double action, I think he's playing into Villy's hands. I think he's, he, if he just focuses on being quick round the court, taking it early and in, uh, then he's asking all sorts of questions of Villy. When you saw Villy, agree. When you saw Villy agree. attacking there uh, a couple of rallies ago, lovely smash. 11, but it's, he just loves to be out there. It's showtime for him. Uh, he wants to be out there. Everybody watching him and he's control of the shuttle and he is a master craftsman. See, just again, that shot really you're talking about pushing him off the net so he's not giving him the net to play the spin 16, net shot. 11. Philly doing a little bit of juggling there with the racket. Yeah, batting, twirling or whatever. And to me, Villy's a, a master of the game. He'll be saying, 11-16, I can still do it, I can still do it. But um, actually, I think that he's just getting into the area now where he can't do it. I think this is, I agree with you Ray, I think this is a critical rally for him. I think a point or two away from here, if Brees wins this, uh, it could be a whole different struggle for him. Brees is taking the net so early and lovely spin net shot. I'm patient and waiting for the sort of <coughs> error that goes out the back. As, w as you said yesterday, Dan, the, um, the drift is going that way. And these players will actually be playing lovely uh, spin net to, get that, um, to get that sort of mistake.
I'm really moving so slowly around the court now. He speeded up to pick that up, Ray. <laughs> but if you look, he's he just walking. Do, yep. And yep. really, in many ways, he's trying to play with Brees' head when he does this. He's sort of saying, you know, I, c I can cope it with anything that you can throw at me. But what Brees has got to do is keep the pressure on. And that's not it's what he's got to do, what he just did. Yeah. 12, 17. You're absolutely right, Ray. Entirely agree with everything you're saying there. I, I just think... Villy's going to have to do something. He's going to keep having to hit those blocks further into court because he's not coping at the minute, whether it's the shuttles or the spin that Brees is putting on the net play that he's got at this moment in time. But Villy's not happy out there. It's over. 18, 12. 12, 17. As you say, he doesn't lack confidence, Philly, and he will still think, 12-18, I can do this. Uh, well, I think he's uh, left it a bit late now, Dan, and uh, um, Philly's certainly a character. He's a character on the court, he's a character off the court, um, but I've, I've, I feel that um, what you've got here is um, a good, hardened, professional athlete that's uh, taking none of it, and he's um, really so pushing for every single point, and that's a way to beat Philly. Absolutely, which is what I was just about to say if you had left me alone. <laughs> but of course, you never allow me to finish my sentences and you're always in there right away. No, you're exactly right, Ray. Yeah, he's, well, he's not going to win this set. I hate to... I wouldn't like to be the man to tell him right now, but I don't think he's going to win this set. I'm going to put my money on Brees for this set and hopefully that won't be the kiss of death for the young man. But I think that you'll see a totally different Villy in the second 13. set. I think that um, he'll be quite happy with how he's softened this, um, uh, we softened this game up and uh, thinking that he can command it. He knows he's lost this one now. Game. You see, that the, the sad thing is the people that don't know the player at this First moment in time will think... He's in, the, he's in the semi-final and he's he's treating it like this, but uh, they will think he's not trying at all, but uh, he'll now be plotting what he's going to do. Here's a slow-mo again. You'll see at the last point of the rally, he just lifts high into the air. He's going to lift this next one as well. There it goes, and it's going out. Yep. And he actually questioned the call, but it was definitely out. I think this is a feature of uh, Billy. Just as he is now, he uh, has little um, uh, fights with the uh, <coughs> umpire, service judges, etc. It's what makes him a character. And um, I think that at some stage during this uh, second set, he will catch a light. But I think Brees is playing exactly the right game at the moment and not being phased at all by uh, the antics of uh, Billy. And when you look at their world rankings of uh, Brees at 49 and uh, uh, Villiers at 36, um, it just goes to show that there's uh, uh, no respect for rankings. It's, uh, these boys get it out there and they uh, fight every single point. Now, while you were giving us all that information there, Ray, uh, Villiers in a deep conversation with the umpire. I don't know. He's certainly not happy and it. If I was Brees, yes, that's ex exactly what to do. What Brees is doing is just turn your back on him. Don't get involved in it. Stay focused on the job that you've got to do. I actually think he's asking the umpire if he can play a bit more lively music. That's what I think yeah. it's. <laughs> card one, 20 seconds. Card one, 20 seconds. Yeah. What is this rubbish they're playing? Yeah, he's, saying? he's maybe just asked for a favourite favorite tune or something. The umpire said he's not getting it. It's definitely, he's not happy with the shuttles for some reason. He's the only player I've seen complaining. I think Second Billy game. would like a slower speed of shuttle Double. so that he can uh, uh, make the rallies even longer and bite in. And uh, it probably shows a difference in the uh, two players' uh, training Play. methods. My guess is that Breeze is uh, very, very dynamic and Billy uh, uh, works on the, the long stuff just a little bit more. I think if I was coaching Brees, I would just be saying, 
keep the pace up, take it early at the front, early and in. Uh, don't give them time to get to your head. Uh, if I were trying to talk to Brees, I would just be ignoring that and stay focused. Hit down when you've got a chance and keep the pace. Keep the pace in it. See, I, oh well, that's an error from Brees there. But I think if Willie keeps doing that and Brees keeps getting to the net early, uh, there's only going to be one winner. That's exactly what you meant, Ray. Yeah? Got, he's got a big, big, um, big attack on him. You've seen two big smashes from both the players there. But I just feel there's a bit more weight in Billy's smash than uh, Brees. So I, I really like Brees as a player. He's uh, very, very attacking. And that cross-court smash is so mm. effective because often it just gets a one reply, which is uh, to the forehand net. Yeah, I think this is this is good. what you're going to see now. Billy's going to be blocking to the net. He's going to try and play back on the net or push into court and get the first net shot. And uh, he's going to try and get the lift and hit it. Then he might just have a little break again to try and run some of the steam out of Fabrice. Uh, Fabrice. He's not happy Three, with the speed, two. that's what it is, definitely. I think you're reading the game exactly right, Dan. I think that um, uh, Billy uh, just uh, changes the rhythm of the match all the time. And uh, you're seeing these sort of shots to the centre of the net to narrow down the angles. But whether it's um, an attacking game, whether it's a rallying game, I just feel Brees has got the uh, armour to cope with it. Fantastic defence here from Brees and uh, Billy laughing as if he was lucky, but I don't think he was lucky. He's a very, very good men's doubles player. <coughs> very good spinning net shot there. What I feel Brees should perhaps do is... Um, make Vili move the full distance in the court. Often he's um, sort of playing back to him mid-court with these sort of uh, um, non-committal sort of uh, uh, half cuts and um, I think that he makes it has to make him work all the time so that uh, he's not sapping his energy. And that was a lovely cut back to exactly where Willie had just been. He played a cross-court lift from his forehand and Brees taking it late on the Five, forehand, cutting right back into there, and he couldn't retrieve it. Service over. So I got the impression in the first Four, game that um, really let the match, that, 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 that game go just a little bit. I don't think he'll do that in this. I think that um, the minute the break comes, he'll be uh, fighting for every single point. Oh. And I think there's a war of patience going on here and definitely uh, Vili's the more patient player and uh, he'll take his uh, opportunities like that one he changes the pace and that's what Brees has got to work on his patience he's got to um, be patient and really uh, work Vili so that he doesn't become impatient. Yep. Keep his own pace up and keep the shuttle alive. Keep it in the court all the time. Take the chances when they come. Seven, five. <laughs> Billy having a little chat with himself there. I told them they were fast. They wouldn't listen. I told them. He just leaves it. Falls quite well out. He's going to hit this. That is just a lovely shot. Just allows it to come and just a fade of the wrist there. Just punches it with pronation in the forearm into the corner. Just 
so strong in the forearm and the fingers. I think Brees has hit some lovely backhands in this match. I think Brees, if he hits a smash, he's got oh! to try and get it away from Vili's body. Very, very good defence on both sides, backhand and forehand there from Vili. Nine, five. Just quality, you'll see it there on the forehand. Then he tries the drop, just a change, but an error. Definitely a change in uh, Villy's posture at the moment, Six, isn't there? He's, uh, he's now up for it. He wants to play the rallies. Um, got a few points. Wants to show his dominance in this stage of the game. Oh, he was quick there. It's a powerful smash, but well, well up from Brees. I think Willie's got to look for that forehand cross cut. Whenever he gets it behind Brees, he's playing it all the time, I think. Oh, that's a chance, because that was a bad shot from Vili. See his gesture, and he's not Ten, happy there. Six. Not happy with the stroke, the quality of it, and he should have been punished. And if this was going out for a run, I think Philly's just sort of uh, just past the jogging stage at the moment. He's um, uh, just uh, getting into his uh, running stride, whereas uh, Brees is now being tested. Yeah, you, I think Philly's asked for the no shuttles. I thought Philly had asked for the referee, but uh, he's not. Any changes here, Ray? Do you think Billy will win this set? Let's put you on the spot, sir. Put, OK, you put me on the spot. Yeah, it's the spot that next to me that I've got you on, so I'm okay. putting you on it. Yeah. Well, I think Billy is um, an up-and-down uh, player. Um, I said at the start of this match that I think Brees will win it, and I think if Brees does win it, he'll win it in three. Um, I think uh, Billy's on for this set, and uh, it's going for the rhythm of, of, of the match. But um, I don't think he can afford to drop, and I think that at some stage during this match, he will drop again his, uh, his level. Yeah, I know you've tipped Brees to win it, and you're saying that if Brees wins it, he'll win it in three. Do you think Villiers get any chance of winning Aye. it in two? Because I don't. <laughs> Not at all, Dan. <laughs> Mathematically impossible. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. That's, I think Billy has to hunt that earlier. <coughs> Obviously, the um, uh, Chinese coach who uh, works for the French uh, Federation has um, told him to stick with the rallies and play an all-court uh, rallying game, making sure that Vidi is doing as much work. And he, he played it Seven, perfectly. Well. He's just got to keep to that um, hard discipline. Vidi playing a backhand clear. Not exactly full length, but coming out of that area and Brees fired it back s straight at him to where he'd come from. Really had to turn and couldn't retrieve it. Oh, and that's fatal. He looks very, very relaxed. His racket carriage is pretty poor, but he's looking for the shuttle early when he's focused, as you saw there. Played on the net. Here it comes on the net, and now he goes up early. Bang. Very, very good. Dan and I are both um, quite active coaches and uh, we're forever asking our players to uh, have good racket carriage. And they say, well, Philly Lang doesn't hold his racket um, very high, but look how quickly he got that racket up. We wouldn't mind if they did that. Well. 
So definitely this set is not dead at the moment. Absolutely not. I think it's just going to be very interesting in the next three or four points here. from the straight smash just catching really I just want to mention something on that shot especially it's, probably the, it's probably the shot that you shouldn't play because it's opened up uh, the other side of the court but that's why it's so effective exactly because it's a shot that you shouldn't play Ten, twelve. that's a bad error from Vili it's, that was just a clip down nothing special and he failed to return it tighten it and I think you just, just don't get the to Brees than it is uh, Philly at the moment.
Do apologise. I believe you lost some of the the commentary transmission. Of course, myself and Ray had everything off to a T there. Everything we said came off for us. Unfortunately, you couldn't hear our comments, but we do hope everything's working again now. Ray, I thought you were excellent in those last stages there, where people couldn't hear us. <laughs> was I not good also? Oh, you was fantastic, Dan, for sure. Thank you. Now you see, I, I think this is where it's very interesting because Brees will, he sees the finish line, he's going to up his pace, I think, he's going to take any chance he gets here to hit and look for the front. Tighten it there. And Lovely uh, tighten it there from Billy. Both players so patient in that rally. And every time they lift the shuttle and it goes out, I feel Billy just nonchalantly goes back and it's as if he's saying, I told you so. Oh, there you go. Service over. That's how I think Greece is going to do that. Every opportunity he gets, he's, as we say, down the forehand side, but 16, he's also going to hit 17. the one down the backhand. Just to get Billy away from protecting his forehand side. But it's 16 17. He's got the first set in the bag. He's going to be up for this, and Billy's going to have to pull out everything to stop him getting it. Brees hit that smash with pinpoint accuracy. Folks, 17 all. Now, this one's an interesting set to call down. And that's exactly why I'm making no prediction. That was a beautiful net shot 18, from Billy there, but I just 17. felt he was a little sluggish getting underneath the shuttle. Uh, normally, when he, you know he's going to hit, he really motors underneath it. But there, I felt he was a bit uh, sluggish getting under a beautiful net again from him. Actually, Gray's net, and uh, oh! yeah, he still um, was able to lift it right to the back. And I just feel that um, 19, Brees is a more 17. proactive player on the court at the moment, and... Um, Going for his shots a little bit more, but uh, there's more to come from Billy yet. No, oh! yeah, I think it's. I'm going to make a prediction. <laughs> I'm going to stick my neck out here 17. and say Brees is going to win this. I feel it's a bold move on my part. You know the game so well. <laughs> oh, lovely net from Billy and from Brees. Good patience being shown. Some beautiful control of the shuttle at the front of the court there. Well, a fantastic performance from Brice Leverde there from France.
beating Vili Lang. 21-13, 21-17. Vili is, is a gentleman off court. He's a, he's a lovely lad, great character, but Match one by I think he'd be leaving this court with a what if. 21-13, What if he could have done 17. something else? Final point just coming up in slow motion here. Lovely touch at the net from them. To me, they're both fantastic players, but um, I think the right player won on the day and uh, thoroughly deserved his win. Good match. Just went through one little lapse where he, uh, uh, his concentration went down. Yeah, you can see in the slow motion, Brees absolutely delighted with that performance and that win. You can expect to see Vili out on the town in Glasgow tonight, I can tell you. We'll be back with the next match just in a few moments' time. Thanks very much, everyone.